I mean, this week, this past Sunday, the Sunday Times also ran, ran a story saying that you had actually asked for money from Impulse, a company that ha ha was receiving uh, tenders from ESCOM uh, towards the January 8th um, birthday celebrations. So obviously, either A, you did ask for the money, or two, the name of the ANC is being used again. Uh, what is your, what happened there? Yeah, in this case, what happens <clears throat> is that on a big event like January 8th, we issue out letters to various companies to ask for donations. And we will then receive donations from the various companies. Now, when we receive the uh, donations from the various companies, it's not about how they themselves would have gotten their contracts and so on. It's always an open request where people will either come and make a contribution or they will come and uh, do exhibition or they will come and buy tables in this case and therefore uh, it's, a, it's just an open uh, soliciting of, of uh, uh, contributions. So when that happens uh, we will then receive the money that comes to us. Then if we receive that money uh, we will not necessarily know all that is going on behind the company. So in this case, we wouldn't know what is going on behind the companies that would have contributed to the ANC. What we can say is that if we find that there's something that is uh, illegal or criminal, then only we then deal with it at that point. So when do you vet, SG, I mean, I mean TG, when do you actually vet uh, the funders? Um, we, okay, what we do, we normally just get a, con uh, uh, we, we approach people because let's say somebody went and, uh, and said, look, there are a number of uh, people that, uh, you know, we can send the request to. If people give you the, requ the, the, the response, we we'll then uh, accept the, the, the funds on a good faith that, uh, you know, everyone is just making a normal contribution. Now, once then there's something that becomes a... Um, and to what, then only you become interested in that matter. So again, it now depends on what is happening. So if, for example, someone uh, is part of a process of investigation, uh, then we'll simply cooperate with that investigation. And so in the case of the uh, newspaper reports where people are alleged to have been involved in certain things, it's not primarily about the, the donation, it's primarily about something that went wrong in the way that the company operates, then we wait for that process to hear what is happening. If it then ultimately means that thing links them back to us for us to participate or we have to do something about that, that's the only time we're going to respond to it.